Hey guys, this is Catnip2067, and this is my third episode of Let's Play FTB Infinity. I've been real busy this past weekend. Um, we've got, I started doing Miscraft because I wanted to make an age to build a quarry, and um, I thought it would be easier just to have somewhere to teleport to and have a special area just for quarries so you don't have holes all in your world. Um, my first book did not turn out very well at all. It was, it was pretty bad. I might take you there and show you, but it, it's pretty scary and dark, and even the torches didn't light it up very well. I don't know what I did wrong. I, I used what pages I had. I need more pages. That's what I need. Um, I, I did... I picked three biomes from the ones that I had. I didn't have very good choices because, let's see, one of the choices was hell biome, and I thought, hmm, that doesn't sound very friendly. So I chose the three that seemed the less dangerous, and then, let's see, huge biome distribution. Maybe I shouldn't have put that in there. I was hoping that it would just have, like, you'd just spawn in a, a huge biome and not have to worry about going to different biomes. I don't know. I don't think that was a good idea. I did zero length and zero phase and purple color for the stars. I really wanted to do that for the sun. The zenith phase and the zero length for the sun, but I don't have that page. I threw in surface lakes. I thought that would be good for the quarry so that you could just plop the uh, quarry down on the lake and the water would, you know, take care of the lava and stuff. That didn't work out for me. Uh, I really did not see a sky, so that didn't help me. Um, there was water, but it was so dark, I couldn't have told you what color it was. Uh, I threw in the rainbow because I didn't know what it was. I thought maybe there'd be a pretty rainbow in the sky, but I didn't see a sky, so I don't know. That was a big fail. I did one... Um, to take me to the nether, I finally killed enough endermen that I got. I'll show you my power. This is not a good setup. It's not organized. It's kind of confusing, but um, I got uh, the ender tank, and I've got one in the nether with the ender thermic pump. And I'll show you that in a second. Um, so I got the lava going for power so I don't have to keep running and filling up this portable tank which was getting to be a real pain so I got the power going and to easily be able to go back and forth to check on my pump um, I did a book this one turned out fine so we'll go there see uh, the miscraft is pretty cool the um, so I've got my endothermic pump and another ender tank and that's been working great. Um, it places stone blocks where it takes up a lava block, is what I read. And that seems to be what it's doing. But this is a huge lava lake, so I think it'll be a while before I have to worry about running out of lava. I don't think I will run out of lava, <laughs> actually. Okay, so this is where I set up, and um, of course we did a, and I'll show you that next, this is not where we spawned in through the nether portal. We built our nether portal right over here, and when you go in, you are smack dab in the center of a nether fortress. I didn't get my sword ready. Sometimes there's blazes in there. Okay, yeah, see, the portal is right here. This, I mean, how perfect is that? Oh, the, I built this because I was trying to hide from some blazes that were in here when I came in one time. And, um, yeah, this was great. I've gone around and collected some of the chests. I haven't found that many. Um... I thought if I ever get me a skeleton spawner, I will set that up maybe right in here. This is a nice area for that so that I can get wither skeletons 
and hopefully get some nether stars eventually. I really want to get the angel ring. The you have to have a division sigil sigil. Anyway, I'm not sure how to do that. I gotta get nether stars for that though. And then this takes you to where my quarry is, but it's much faster with the and down there is the quarry. So it's not that far. This worked out really well. This is a nice fortress. It's not all messed up like some of them are. Got some nether wart and so uh, I don't think I've picked up any soul sand yet. Oh, I hear a... Eh, I guess. Those things are scary. Okay, let's get out of here. Alright, so that's how we ended up in the nether and that turned out really well. I was excited about that. I have not gone out exploring. I need to, but I haven't done that yet. And I've been busy working on this Mistcraft stuff. I needed leather, paper, and ink. So, I fixed up this, uh, that's got, let's see, that has the breeder. I have the breeder set up. You put your weed in it. And I put it here because I could just tie right into my power, my cables that were up there, so it's kind of squished up here in this corner because of that. So I got the breeder. There's two cows in there. And of course it breeds them and then they fall down in here. And then I just kind of did the vanilla way of killing them. It's only one block high, so when they grow up of course cows are two blocks high. And then they smother and die. And there's hoppers under those carpets and the stuff goes in here. I have been using all the leather, of course, because I was making uh, notebooks and stuff. But we have lots of beef, so our food problem is solved because of Mistcraft. And then, of course, I was growing the wheat to feed the cows and sugar cane for the paper. And this was really neat. I just learned about this. This rancher will harvest ink sacks from the squid. So I went, I made a, uh, a jailer's safari net because the animals that you catch in that will not be spawn. And all you did was take a regular single-use safari net and put four iron bars around it and you had a jailer's net. And I've already got 25 stacks of ink sacks from that one squid and I haven't even... I'll definitely not have to worry about ink sacks. And it also has been collecting milk from the cows. At least I hope it's from the cows. I hope it's not milking the squid. So we have we have milk if we need it so that was kind of a nice little bonus and let's see all right i think that's all i've done there oh and i did pick up a blaze spawner from the nether in the fortress which i desperately needed blaze rods so that worked out real good and then we've got that set up here you can see it from outside it's a big nine by nine box and it's ugly from the outside but we needed something in a hurry because I just needed blaze rods, so I didn't really design anything fancy for that. Just usable. And uh, I'm still using Pam's Harvest Craft water barrels for infinite water source to fill up my water bottles for my ink sacks. Or uh, my ink, I think, or ink wells, ink vials. And I love those things. The, those barrels are so nice. They look so much better than that thing of water in the floor. And so that's what I've been doing. I've been trying to figure out, because we need a quarry. I'm out of Ferris. And something else, oh yes, I was trying to automate the, the wheat. But I need a harvester. And I'm short one ingot of Invar, which requires Ferris, and I'm out of Ferris. So I thought, well, what I'll do is I'll make a world for the quarry and I already made the quarry which ate up all of our diamonds we have one diamond left and the world that I made did not turn out so I'm going to try to make another world and try again I've got to just go to like random worlds I think and go to the libraries and get more pages to be able to really get the kind of world that I want um, because what I'm doing now is, how did that chicken get in here? Where do you come from? 
Why are those bushes not hurting you? Um, so that's what I'm trying to do now. I'm trying to get this world set up for a quarry. Don't think we've done... Oh, yeah, Caleb, my son, did come on a little bit over the weekend. We didn't get a chance to record any videos or really do any exploring, but he got on here and he, uh, he worked on the kitchen. He likes that Pam's Harvest Craft. We have a refrigerator and we have, let's see, we have cooked calamari, egg salad, Blueberry smoothies. He said those fill four hearts. Uh, cooked mutton. We have uh, we have a refrigerator full of food now. And let's see, he's worked with the oven. I don't really know how to use all that. He's got a pot on the stove there. And um, let's see, what has he got? Yeah, I put some of the milk in there for him. I didn't know if he might need that. And. He's got snowballs. I wonder where he got snowballs. Oh, and I did find him, which this is a surpri surprise for him. I found one of Pam's Harvest Crafts uh, uh, queen bees. And, oh, we got two grubs this time. And uh, I put her, I built the apiary and put out here and put the bee in it. And we've got, that's been working good. So I think that he can do something with that. He's got a presser here, so I think you put that stuff in the presser and do something with it. And I found a twilight forest, but I didn't make the portal. But I grabbed a couple of fireflies. I think they're cute. Oh, and this is so funny. This is hilarious. Okay, these zombies gather at the front door, and when you open the front door, well, They'll come in. They'll come in. Generally, they come in the front door, and then they'll just run right out the back door and run out there to the villagers. But they're not doing that today. And it's starting to get dark, so you guys have to stay out there. But, um, that's all we've done there. I still have not started on my castle in the magical forests. I was kind of hoping that I could make a magical forest world with Mistcraft that I could just teleport to to do my Thomcraft stuff. I thought that would be pretty neat. But I gotta get that worked out. This is really hard, making these worlds. It's kind of fun, because you, you don't know where you're going to end up. I did make another one that was a random one, and it was just these islands of netherrack with a village on it. And so, and I found the library, so that's how I got some of my pages. I'll show you what pages I have, and I've tried to organize them. I watched a tutorial video, and there's all kinds of different, and I don't know if I'm supposed to use the, the folders or the notebooks for what, what the difference is in those. I haven't figured that out yet, so it's kind of random in here. But these are the biomes I have so far. There's that hell biome. I'm, don't, I, I'm wondering if that's the nether or if it's something else. I was kind of scared of that. Um, and I was excited I had a magical forest biome. I thought, oh, I could make a magical forest world, an age where I could go to and have all my thumbcraft stuff there. I thought that would be neat. Um, then there's the, all I have is the huge biome distribution. That was the only one I had. That's why I put that in there. Um, I'd like to do, get the one that's a single biome, so you only have just one biome. Uh, landscapes I don't have, weather I don't have, lighting I don't have. I do have some celestials, I got, I don't have sun, I've got a dark sun, but I didn't want a dark sun. I want a sun that just stays, so it stays day all the time. Um, that's the Celestial's terrain alteration. I have floating islands, which that might be neat to do for the uh, magical forest thing. I hope these animals aren't too loud. I did turn it down to 20, I think. So that's what I have there. Populators. I have obelisks. I didn't really want a bunch of those because they, I think those are the ones that have the nodes in them. No, yes, they do have the nodes in them, and I think they have those druids around them. I think that's what that is. I don't have any effects. Visuals. Yeah, these are your 
your fog, your sky, your water. That's where I got the rainbow. And I didn't see a rainbow. I want to see a rainbow. These, these are the colors I have. And I do have purple. I was excited I got purple. That's my favorite color. Uh, let's see. Directions. I'm not sure how to use these yet. I think these make... You can make your sun and your moon go in different directions like that. The gradient, I think, is for colors. Links, yeah. That affects, uh, I think, the length of time, like day and night. Uh, phases. I have the zenith phase, which I know that makes... It's supposed to make the sun or the moon stay, like, at 12 o'clock. Um... I don't have any liquids, or fluids, or solids, or crystals, or ores. The only thing I have are these blocks. Block red plasma. I don't know what that is. Poke phenium. I don't know what that is. Nutrient distillation and rocket fuel. So I put those in other materials. I have no idea what that is. So I got this kind of organized and we'll see where that goes. But I really want to get that quarry going so I might just have to put it down here somewhere. We might just have to do that because I we need some ores and Base Meg has been playing World of Warcraft so he's not been very helpful. He's done a little bit. I mean you can tell he's he's uh, he got the he got the obsidian and I did make uh, once I got the lava going I made the igneous extruder so we have all the obsidian we want now if we want obsidian we just get it out of here and it'll make more I've got the aqueous ac accumulator down there underneath it so it gets water from that so it stays full of water and lava at all times so that's that and then of course I got the cobblestone going um, it takes a long time to do that. I still got two more recipes to do because if I get to the uh, oct octuple, yeah, I think that's octuple, um, I can turn that into bedrockium. Yeah. You can do it, I think, with the quadruple, but you have to use a diamond. And then, but if you get this one, you get, uh, you can do it. You can get bedrockium without using a diamond, I believe. I'm still figuring that stuff out too. And I did add a few more machines. We have the energetic infuser because I now, that's my flux capacitor. I use that to charge my backpack. Let's see if you can see it. Yep. Or my jetpack, not my back backpack. I got me a jetpack. And so I needed that for charging. And I made this so that, and this holds 4 million RF. So I can recharge my jetpack a lot with that if I'm out. And we have the alloy smelter, which I definitely wanted. And of course the saw mill, the pulverizer, and the furnace. And uh, I did not use an energy cell, and I should have. I need to, but I'm going to, I think this is going to end up being all different anyway once we get the ME system going for sure. I was also hoping to go to other worlds and find a meteor because we do not have our presses. We have we have Certus Quartz and we have Charged Certus Quartz. And I even made my open crate to do the dropper to drop the seeds in the water, which I haven't started doing yet. I've got to go gather up some nether quartz. I need to put a quarry in the nether and get nether quartz, get the quartz going. I want to have lots and lots of quartz by the time I get my presses. But I haven't found any meteors. I've flown around a little bit. You can see where I've been. These are the areas I've been. This is as far out as I've been to look on the surface. Um, these are those uh, eerie eerie biomes. I thought at first they might be meteors, but they're not. And yeah, we have not found a single meteor. And I understand that a lot of times 
Wait a minute, what is that? Uh, no, nope, that's not a meteor either. It's another one of those things. But uh, they're mostly underground, I think. So that means we need to dig around, I guess, to find them. So, so anyway, we're still looking for meteors, and this is a mess. It's not organized at all. I mean, it's just crap thrown everywhere. It's just a mess. I've, I just really want to get that ME system. It'll be so much better. So, that's what I've been messing around with. Um, still haven't got started on Thomcraft. I've scanned a few things, but I haven't made my desk or anything yet. Um, I might just go over there to that magical biome and start that. I'm not sure yet. I think I want to work on this Mistcraft some more. I'm going to try to make some more worlds, see if I can find some more libraries, and see if I can get a good quarry world going. That would be nice. At least get that going. This was the stand I was going to put it on next to the another one, but you can see it's empty. I haven't got that straight yet. All right. Well, that's all that's going on right now. I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I sure hope to see you again. Bye now.